the brake to land. Sometimes called the fleet brake or the overhead brake, it was designed to provide a high speed approach to an airfield with minimum exposure to enemy fire as well as a quick and efficient way of recovering combat aircraft. For the instrument portion of your flight evaluation, you will be expected to perform the brake per the guidance outlined in this video. The beginning of the approach starts at the entry point, or initial. For the initial, you are expected to fly in an altitude of 800 feet at an airspeed of 400 knots. Your runway alignment should be offset to the opposite side of the brake direction. This is usually accomplished by lining up with the adjacent taxiway of the runway in use. Next is the brake, or braking turn. It is designed to both slow the aircraft in preparation of landing in addition to establishing the pilot on the downwind leg of the landing pattern. The brake is performed by completing a level 180 degree turn in the opposite direction of the tower. Upon commencing the brake turn, throttle is reduced to idle and the air brake is deployed. As a rule of thumb, the amount of G required in the turn is approximately 1% of the airspeed. Since your entry airspeed was 400 knots, 4 G's will be required for the brake turn. Once airspeed is below 250 knots, retract the air brake, extend the landing gear, and set flaps to full. Following the brake turn is the downwind. The downwind heading is the opposite or 180 degrees of the final approach heading. Once established on a downwind leg, descend to 600 feet and slow to a speed of approximately 145 knots. The on speed indicator or amber donut, located on the angle of attack indexer, can also be used as a speed reference throughout the rest of the approach. The 180 is the point on the downwind leg where a 180 degree descending turn is commenced toward the final approach course for landing. Upon initiating the 180 degree turn, communicate to the tower your position and intentions. Along with your call sign, you will be expected to transmit, at the 180, 3 down and locked, full stop. While in the turn, maintain a shallow descent rate of 400 to 600 feet per minute and maintain an on speed of approximately 145 knots. Next is the 90 where 90 degrees of turn has been completed. At the 90, you should be at around 450 feet, on speed at approximately 145 knots, and making the adjustments necessary to roll out on final aligned with the runway. The final, which is the extended center line before the landing runway, is the last leg of the landing pattern. Upon rolling out on final, the aircraft should be at an altitude of 200 to 300 feet, aligned with the runway center line, and on speed at approximately 145 knots. The glide path for this approach is 3 degrees until touchdown. Last is the touchdown. Unlike most aircraft, the F-18 does not require a landing flare in order to land safely. Simply maintain the established approach attitude until touchdown. Immediately after touching down, bring the throttle to idle, allow the nose wheel to drop to the runway, and maintain runway center line. Allow the aircraft to decelerate below 100 knots before applying the wheel brakes. This concludes the Break to Land tutorial. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact any of the team members at www.fsxblueangels.com.